everyone, my name is Christina Martinez. I am the founder and lead designer of Christina Isabel Design. We are an online and in-person interior design firm in Northern Virginia. We actually work with clients all throughout the Washington DC area, both online and in person. And we work virtually nationwide. So today we are at a photo shoot for one of our favorite projects. We call this project our Sophisticated Sexy Glam Project. And we're currently standing in the solarium. Um, it is basically a sunroom um, that we've made into a really pretty black and white, uh, sophisticated art deco space with a touch of glam. So this client actually came to us as a referral from her sister who had worked with us previously and she came to us in March of 2021. This was the very first room that we did together. She was looking for a design style that was a bit more classic and sophisticated and elegant. Um, and throughout the design process, we discovered that she really leaned towards uh, touches of glam, gold and brass accents, as well as some unique pieces, a little bit of funky pieces as well. So with this project, um, we've done four different spaces. Uh, this is the solarium. It's basically a sunroom uh, that we've converted into, let's say a whiskey, a sophisticated whiskey room. Um, as you can see, there is a beautiful grand white piano. We also have a bar area over here that they use for their whiskey and favorite tequilas. We've added some beautiful custom curtains in the space. When we originally started this design, the client wanted a black and white room and that's really what inspired this design. I actually started looking at a wedding, some wedding photos of really high-end black and white uh, events that had happened and that's what, that, that's what inspired this space. There's a few elements of Art Deco in here that you can see. Uh, the sofa has a really nice curve to it that was um, by design. We really felt like this room could use some elements um, you know that had some really nice rounded corners and some curves to add to you know kind of balance the the piano so yeah this is one of our favorite rooms we absolutely love it every time we come here uh, it just has a really special feeling to it so the second project we did in this house was the dining space the client was pretty much open to anything in that space so we really had some creative liberty with that space. We decided to put uh, some accent walls to start in jewel tones. And when we were working on the design concepts, we had an accent wall that was a teal blue, one that was more of a burgundy. And then we actually ended up going with more of a royal blue. It's called Hague, by, um, Hague Blue by Ferro and Ball. Our goal with the furniture pieces was to bring in pieces that were modern, sophisticated, but pretty simple. Uh, as you can see in the chairs, uh, they have really interesting lines. The brass ties everything together. That was really meant to be the focal point in the room. For the art in the room, we uh, originally had some color, but we decided to stick with more textured art, organic art. And what we actually have on the walls is a capice, which is an oyster shell um, art. So um, really interesting, actually quite fragile, but it just makes a big impact in the room. One of my favorite things about the space is the mirror that we've hung in the space. It reflects light. The ceilings in the space are 10 feet, so it really helps with the height of the ceiling as well. So yeah, we absolutely love that room. The third project in this house that we did was the master bedroom and we were all really excited to work on this space because it was a design challenge. It is quite a big room and the bed was actually the client's mom's bed uh, and it was it had an interesting pattern and we knew that we needed to come up with a really interesting design concept that was going to complement the bed and make it shine rather than um, hiding it away. 
We actually decided to grab a couple colors from the bed and, in and integrate some jewel tones throughout the space in the pillows, in the chairs that you see in the room. With that, we also um, added a deep uh, gray color throughout the room, including all of the trim on the ceiling um, so that it felt more uniformed throughout and it went, it really served as a nice backdrop for the jewel tones. My favorite part of the master bedroom is actually the backdrop uh, behind the bed. Uh, we have three panels of grass cloth wallpaper and on top of that we've put really interesting textured organic uh, decorative pieces that are actually handmade from Etsy. Custom curtains that are in the space go really well with the grass cloth wallpaper so that texture together really um, shines. And then the other part that I truly love is the new rug we've brought. So um, really with that space, what we did is we played a lot with jewel tones and patterns and textures so that it feels really unique and interesting and has a lot of personality. With the room, when we asked the client what she was looking for in that space, she used the word sexy. So um, our goal was to make a moody, sexy, sophisticated space that had just a little bit of gold touches, but really it was shining through all the fabrics and uh, the textures in this space. One of the key elements that we changed completely in the master bedroom was the bar area. Um, so it used to be just your kind of builder grade, um, boring <laughs> uh, coffee area. And um, we had it painted a really beautiful deep gray added a new granite countertop in black, all new hardware, and we actually had a wine fridge installed as well. So by extending um, that area, getting a new countertop and a new paint color completely transformed that space. In the master bedroom, we also have a sitting area, which before um, kind of felt like an afterthought, um, wasn't really, there was really nothing that made it feel cohesive to the rest of the space. Um, so what we decided to do is add great animal hide looking rug, then put some really beautiful leather chairs behind it with a pop of burgundy and a nice ottoman so they can put their feet up while they're watching TV at night. So the fourth project we worked on in this home was the basement. It's actually a really big space that has um, basically three different areas that we worked on. So the main area was the lounge and dining area. They already had a really nice sofa, um, but everything else needed to be replaced. So we started with the walls. They used to be orange and blue, and while the colors were nice, they weren't, it wasn't the right application. So what we did is we just put in a deep blue color on the walls, added some board and batten behind the TV and actually oriented the TV and the sofa in a different direction so the space felt bigger and made a little bit more sense for a lounge area. We um, added a dining space with a bench in a little nook in the wall so it looks purposeful. And we also added a custom large rug from Floor um, floor is one of our favorite vendors because it's uh, floor tiles and you can basically build your own rug, which was great. So we did actually end up putting the orange back in the space as well as the blue, but just in a different way. Um, we also worked on the bar area in the basement and um, that was a complete transformation. We added some really beautiful wood panels behind the bar, some shelving, a TV, as well as new bar stools, new lighting and it completely transformed what um, was an okay basement bar into a really showstopper uh, basement bar. The final part of the basement was the game room. So uh, that's where they had a pool table already, but the rest of the space really didn't have any personality or function. Um, so we added a snack area full of candies and treats. We added two high top tables so people can have drinks and hang out. Um, we also added some great storage for the pool equipment. They don't just have billiard equipment on the floor. We were able to get that on the walls. And then we were able to personalize the space with a family gallery wall as well as a sign 
for the basement. So they absolutely loved it. That space did bring the clients to tears, which brought us, you know, a lot of satisfaction um, because we always try to personalize and make spaces special for our clients. Um, so that was, that was a really great experience to see. My favorite space in the house, I actually can't decide because I love this one so much, but I also love the basement. So um, maybe it's a tie between the basement and this room. Thank you everybody for watching today. Um, I really love talking about this project and I hope you loved it as well. Um, if you liked what you see and are interested in working with our design team, we'd love to talk to you. Um, our website is uh, ChristinaIsabelDesign.com. We're also on Instagram, Pinterest, really everywhere. So check us out. We'd love to talk to you. Mm -hmm.